The Spurs are halfway through, five silver and black lining. If coach Greg Popovich did not exactly return to San Antonio with a smile about the state of his young team, he did not have a scowl either. They have absolutely made steady improvement, Popovich said. Their losses are still hard fought. They are getting smarter in fourth quarter. With a young group like that, that's the joy of it, watching them develop in that way. Wednesday's game against the Houston Rockets at the ATT Center was the Spurs' 41st of the season, marking the mathematical midway point. For those inclined to see the Spurs' silver and black glass as half full, there has been a lot to like despite a 15-25 record heading into the tilt against the Rockets. Coach Greg Popovich may not like the young Spurs record, but maintains they have absolutely made steady improvement. Chris Segola slash Associated Press before embarking on the ill-fated and shorthanded road trip that started New Year's Eve. The Spurs had won 10 of 16 games and fought their way into contention for at least a play-in game at the end of the regular season. Had COVID not torn through the Spurs' locker room, players are confident the team's record would look cosmetically better. This is our first year really being together, guard Lonnie Walker said. We're still learning and figuring things out as a team, despite having injuries and COVID hitting and all that. It kind of makes it a lot harder to get that rhythm as a team. Like Popovich, Walker sees improvement that isn't quite reflected in the standing. Overall, we're climbing the ladder, Walker said, little by little. As the Spurs turn their attention to the second half of the season, here are five silver linings that could provide cause for optimism. Reinforcements are on the way knock on the hardwood floor of the ATT Center. The worst of the Spurs coronavirus outbreak appears behind them. Thad Young cleared protocols Tuesday and was available against Houston. The Spurs are hopeful in getting back Derek White, Keldon Johnson and Devin Vassell in short order too. If the Spurs can get the full band back together, another nice run like they put together in December is not out of the question. San Antonio Spurs guard Dejount Murray during an NBA basketball game, Wednesday, January 5, 2022, in Boston. Charles Krupa, STF slash Associated Press 2. Dejount Murray has entered all-star discussion the Spurs resident triple-double king. Murray was knocking on the door of the all-star conversation before entering health and safety protocols in late December. In the four games since his return entering Wednesday, Murray averaged 23 points, 9.5 assists and 6.8 rebounds. Averaging 8.9 assists, Murray is on pace to finish as the Spurs' top assist man since Avery Johnson posted 9.6 per game in 1995-96. Given the Spurs' less than stellar record and the overabundance of top-notch guards in the Western Conference, it remains a long shot Murray will represent the Spurs in Cleveland next month. Still, nobody is going to flinch if he does. Playoffs are not out of the question before the Spurs' recent road swoon, they sat in 10th place in the Western Conference. That would have been enough to secure a play-in berth had the regular season ended then. The good news is that even after dropping 6 of 7 games on the road, the Spurs slipped only one spot to 11th, one game behind Portland. Given better luck and better health in the second half of the season, the Spurs should be in position to fight for a play-in berth down the stretch. That might be the first step in the Spurs breaking a two-season playoff drought. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, January 7. Josh Primo No. 11 of the San Antonio Spurs reacts during the first quarter against the Philadelphia 76ers at Wells Fargo Center on January 7, 2022, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Note TO user, user expressly acknowledges and agrees that, by downloading and or using this photograph, user is consenting to the terms and conditions of the Getty Images license agreement. Tim Wachukwu, staff slash Getty Images 4. Another lottery pick is not out of the question either news local video. Comal County Democratic Party's office was vandalized. Local New Braunfels reacts to massive buck EES planned in. Local catalytic converters were stolen from 16 North Side ISD. Local tree houses becoming popular rental option in Hill Country. Local three years later, no answers in Anaqua Springs killing. There is a win-win aspect to being a rebuilding team in the Spurs' shoes. Should they fail in the quest to return to the playoffs, they will instead return to the NBA draft lottery. This is not necessarily a bad thing. In 2020, Devin Vassell went 11th overall as the Spurs' first lottery selection since Tim Duncan. A year later, the Spurs took Josh Primo at number 12. Both players appear poised to be part of the Spurs' foundation for years to come. The Spurs have seven players averaging at least 11 points this season. Six are age 27 or younger. Adding another lottery-level talent to that core would not be the worst outcome to result from this season. San Antonio Spurs coach Greg Popovich, right? Talks with guard Keldon Johnson during the second half of the team's NBA basketball game against the Utah Jazz, Monday, December 27, 2021, in San Antonio. The Jazz won 110 to 104. Darren Abate. FRE slash Associated Press 5. Popovich remains firmly on Don Nelson's tail. The Spurs coach entered Wednesday 11 wins away from overtaking Don Nelson as the NBA's all-time regular season victories leader. Popovich walked into the ATT Center to face the Houston with 1,335 wins under his belt. Nelson retired in 2010 with 1,345. In between is Lenny Wilkins, who 
amassed 1,332 victories. A caveat here, this is something of a silly record. If one were to include Popovich's 170 postseason victories, the ones that count the most, he has already coached in more wins than any coach in NBA history. Still, the league will celebrate when Popovich passes Nelson on the regular season list, and for good reason. Jim Donald at Express-News.net Twitter at jmcdonaldacn